Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com fighting off a bit of a cold. Hopefully you don't mind. I've got things to do. Today we're going to show you how to add encrypting file system to the right click context menu. Some people aren't even familiar with it. It's well described for you right here, I hope. As it says, it's a feature that provides file system level encryption. The technology enables files to be transparently encrypted to protect confidential data from attackers and physical access to the computer. Now, the problem with it is to use it, you'd have to right click on a file. Take note, it does not say encrypt or decrypt here. You'd have to click properties. You'd have to go to advanced and then you'd have to encrypt contents to secure data. So if you find yourself using this or maybe didn't know about it, now you want to use it, no problem. Let's put it into the context menu. Let's start by copying and pasting this line right here and we're going to go to the registry editor. So right click, copy do the Windows key plus R, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, enter or OK. And as mentioned, right up here, you just copy and paste that in and hit enter. By the way, if you want to get back to it later, there's a million different little tricks to the registry. Here's one. Favorites, add to favorite. You could actually save this tab as a favorite, so if you want to come back later and play with it, you'd be able to find it here. So. Now that we're at the advanced, we're going to want to create a new D word. Once again, let's come back to the article and copy and paste encryption context menu. Come back to the registry editor, right click on the advanced tab, new D word 32 bit value and control V will paste encryption context menu or you can type it. Press enter. Now we want to double click that and simply change the value data, which it's already highlighted when you get here to one and press OK again. That is it, you're done, you can close it out. Now, as we mentioned before, as we showed you when we right clicked, there was no encrypt, decrypt, we went to properties. Right click, encrypt. There it is. See the little icon right there, it says it's locked. And you wanna decrypt it, right click, decrypt. Now, it didn't show up here because I played before, but if you've never used EFS before, a little thing will pop up here to save and back up your certificate and key. You probably want to do that so you don't lock your files and then accidentally not be able to unlock them, which is always a concern when you are encrypting files. It's great to have it encrypted, but you better be able to decrypt it. All right, so before we take off, I should mention to you, it's not a big deal. In the registry where we were before, I mentioned earlier about saving it as a favorite so that you could find it later. I should have shown you. See that? Now it's sort of like a bookmark in your browser. I added the favorites there as advanced, so I can jump to that anytime. There's two things you can do if by some chance you change your mind. You would come back to this advanced and find the key that you made right here, encryption context. Now, encryption context menu. Now you know we created this key, so you have two choices. You can delete it and it's gone there's no harm done or you can double click it and change the one back to a zero that way if you want to once again use your bookmark for example and come back here and you know turn it on for a week here a week there you have that option and as mentioned before decrypt encrypt is now gone so um, there you go uh, as always we thank you for taking the time to watching uh, this is a little different than most videos it's kind of a niche little thing most people don't even know exists well, we hope you dug it. We thank you for all the new subscriptions lately. And if you haven't, we hope you will. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.